Round 1 in the Western Conference begins. The Clippers understand this is only the beginning. A long road lies ahead. They start out the series on hostile ground as they square off against the Suns. Round 1, Game 1, the NBA Playoffs, coming up next. After a long journey through the regular season, the playoffs have finally arrived. And we're set to bring you round one action from the West here on 2K Sports. Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Well, Devin Booker went through the lean years in Phoenix. He said, quote, I just put my head down and I work. I've been through a lot, honestly. But just being who I am and seeing the bigger picture, I had the tunnel vision to know what this can be. Brian, a lot of players in that situation haven't been able to see it through like he did. That's true, Allie. Good stuff there. You take a look at Phoenix. They have home court advantage here, but this could be a tough series for them. And you can see either team advancing from this series. A tough way to start out your postseason campaign for sure. So the opening lineup here for the Clippers. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. Russell Westbrook out there with Paul George. And it's Plumlee in at the center position. And for the Suns, the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Okogi in at small forward. And it's the Suns to start out. Here's Paul. Up top, Ayton. Durant with it. That shot, no good. Batum with the defensive effort. Leonard outside. Westbrook outside. Yep, that one goes. Westbrook takes these challenges personally. He loves scoring on aggressive defense. Now here's Booker. Outside Paul. Shoots over Westbrook. Unable to get that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. About a minute into this first quarter. Plumley a screen on eight. George passes to Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. And here's Booker. Up top, Aiden. Pass to Durant. Here's the three. And again, it's the Suns missing. Durant against Batum. Here's Leonard. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Kawhi has always been an elite defender, but he's become just as fearsome on the offensive end. You can tell he never stops working on his game. The first free throw is good. Drops them both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. My lord, the agility on that size. Aiden's on another level. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Now Westbrook. to Batum. Kicks it to George. Let's a three fly on target from range. Three out of three. Perfect start. Let's see how long they can ride this wave. 
for Phoenix. They've gone one of four to begin this one. George against Booker. From the high post. Durant, no good. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Pumley a screen on Booker. George with it. Now guarded by Aiden. Pumley against Aiden. Pumley, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Second chance effort. And it's good on the lay-in. Look at Durant making use of his height. Winning the rebound and putting it back. Batum with a screen on Paul. Westbrook, the pass to Plumley. The three, George hits a three-pointer. George has got six. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Phoenix calls timeout. Sun's going with a whole new group out there for the Clippers. Outside Payne. Pass to Ross. Puts it up from 12. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. On the wing, man defended by Payne. Man misses. The Suns have gone only two of six from the field. Warren, the pass to Payne. Here's Baisley. Outside Warren takes a three. Connects from downtown. Such a confident score. We've seen Warren go off for 50 plus in a game. 24 seconds left to play in the first. Zubac with a screen on Payne. It's Powell on the wing. Over Warren. And again, it's the Clippers. I love seeing Norman Powell take the mid-range shot, making use of this area. Out to the right wing. Here's Baisley. And that's not going to go. And so it's Los Angeles closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We'll be right back after this word. for us to get back into it here in game one and before we move on what do you think about what we've seen from the clippers They're just excellent first quarter defense they've been really getting after it. yeah they were very physical and very aggressive they've just been the better team so far so here are the five for the clippers to start the second Kyle and george are out on the wings Kawhi and zubats make up the front court and it's highland in at the one spot now here's Booker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Great D that time from Zubats. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard left side. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Booker. It's rebounded by George. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Second quarter of basketball. About a minute played so far. Leonard against Durant. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Relentless at the offensive end. KD challenging the heart of the defense. Here's Leonard. And that 
one's good. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Right side pain. Soft touch off the glass. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. The Clippers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Powell against Warren. Here's Leonard. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Leonard's got six here in the quarter. What strength from the seasoned veteran. Leonard loves going at defenders and scoring on them. To the inside. Here's Baisley. Oh, Leonard with the block. Here we go. Here's Highland. Banked it in off the glass. And you don't need a road map when he's got open court in front of him like that. Yeah, he's a one-man show in transition. Impressive play, taking it right to the rim. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Phoenix making some changes. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Baisley. Okogi comes in for Warren. And it's Chris Paul in for Payne. Here's Durant. Outside Paul. 143 left to play in the half. And the Suns miss again. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Westbrook, the pass to Plumley. Back to Westbrook. Now here's George. Three-pointer. Durant pulls it in. The Suns shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. Shot from the wing. They grab their own miss. Aiton. And the layup is good off the glass. Aiton's got his second bucket on the night. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Aiton beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now here's Westbrook. Kicks it to George. Back to Westbrook. Five to shoot. That shot missing. Paul oh, with some nice D. Hooker attacking. The quick look, no good that time. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Powell passes to George. 24 seconds left to play in the second quarter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Kevin Durant. Can't be too physical with Nicholas Batum. That's a recipe for fouling him and sending him to the line. First free throw is good. You know, Nicholas Batum is kind of a classic glue guy. He does a little of everything and is always ready to step up and fill any gaps on the floor. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. For Phoenix, they've gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Here's Landale, covered by Covington. Pass to Ross. And so that brings the first half to a close. The Clippers on top, up by 10. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offer. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast, and it's been an outstanding first half for the Los Angeles Clippers.
They've been money tonight. Matter of fact, they've got the shmoney, Ernie. Get it? The shmoney. No, great, I don't. Great game, though. It's a great, great plan. Shaq gets it. But actually, I don't get it either. Creating their offense, and they're converting open shots. Must be nice as a coach to sit back and watch what you drew up work to perfection. It's not about the money. It's about the shmoney. You know what rhymes with shmoney or money? Dummy. Taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone. Ernie, Kenny, you always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. Hello everyone, thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. Without question, Kawhi Leonard displaying his skills today. Yeah, we had a feeling he'd step up in this one. So far, playing at the top of his game when they really need him. That may be just the beginning. He might try to carry this team across the finish line himself. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Okogi in at the three spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. And Phoenix has possession. Following the score by the Clippers. Ayton with a screen. Paul passes to Aiden, and Aiden with the stuff. It's hard to figure out Chris Paul because he's so shifty off pick and rolls. Los Angeles shooting has been spectacular. 67%. Just incredible. George outside. He takes it in. And he banks in the layup. George has got eight points. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Paul. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Here's Durant. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. He's got six. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Westbrook finds Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. The vertical of Kawhi is impressive. Rising up with ease and throwing it down. The Suns have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Paul passes to Durant. Fires high post. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Plumley's got four rebounds in the game. George with it, and it's Paul picking him up. Slam dunk by Plumley. <laughs> Woo! I just love that alley oop slam, BA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And BA, they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Phoenix calls timeout. Some changes for Phoenix. Baisley, he's checked in for Ayton. T.J. Warren comes in for Okogi. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. Pass to Booker. To the middle. The shot by Payne, no good. The Clippers have gone 4 of 4 in this third quarter. Perfect so far. George passes to Powell. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. You see why Powell is so valuable. Good athlete, good defender, and can really space the floor. Pass to Durant. Powell with a steal. Here's Highland, defended by Payne. Out to Powell. 
Inside. And again, it's the Clippers converting. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Outside Warren. Pass to Baisley to halt the run. That's tipped. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. It's stolen by Warren. Three on three. Shoots from the baseline. Phoenix no good that time either. For Los Angeles, they've gotten all six of their shots to fall. Talk about a perfect start to the half. Down low. And it's slammed in by Zubats. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Boy, the Suns are struggling. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Timeout called. The Suns. Landale's checked in for the Suns. Ross comes in for Devin Booker. Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Mann comes in for George. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Warren with the ball. It's Ross on the wing. Launches it. Rebound by the Clippers. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the timeout or do you let your guys try to fight through it? And that one's good. Covington. Covington's got his first points of the night. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. The Clippers on top, opening up a huge gap. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. We've got Nicholas Batum. Terrence Mann is out there with Russell Westbrook. Then it's Mason Plumley, and it's Powell in at the small forward position. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Some changes for Phoenix. Durant comes in for Landale, and it's Devin Booker in for Ross. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Leonard's checked in. Here's Paul. to Booker and it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron one trait of an elite scorer like Booker they take what you give them the mid-range working for Devin here's Westbrook and the layup is good they have no answer defensively inside fourth quarter just getting started one minute in the books Now here's Paul. Pass to Booker. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. A versatile score. At 6'5", Booker has enough size to make plays in the painted area. And the Clippers with the ball. And here's Westbrook. Here's Mann. Plumley a screen on Booker. Throws it up high. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Ayton. 
from seven feet away. And again, it's Devin Booker. Shooting while in rhythm. This is Booker's game. He's out here to score. Pass to man. Into the lane. And the shot goes. Here is man. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now Booker. Over Plumley. Second chance shot. Aiden. Count it. So impressed with that bucket by Aiden. Fantastic body control from the big man. Here's Westbrook. High post Plumley. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. The drive by man. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And capturing the series momentum up front, this is a monster game one win for the Clippers. What would you say the deciding factor in this game was, Grant? Yeah, B.A., ultimately you have to look at their field goal percentage. They were the more efficient team because they found clean looks all night. And they have to be pleased with how they got this series started tonight. A nice 1-0 lead. The key now is to carry the same energy forward and get that second win. These are the playoffs, so you can't afford to relax or think you've got the series in the bag. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Paul George. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. Here's Booker. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. An active shooter. Booker is clever at finding ways to attract fouls on the way up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. And you have to talk about the passing, too. I mean, the ball has been zipping around on the offense, and they've kept the extra pass mentality the whole way. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Covington comes in for Batum. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Leonard. And it's Highland in for Westbrook. Pass to Highland. 41 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. To the wing, right side. Clock at six. Here's Powell. Basket counts. Norman. And the Clippers lead by 19. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Warren up top. Pal covers. Here's Booker. And that one's on target from the wing. <laughs> One positive takeaway. At least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Warren with the ball. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Kawhi, you got some hot scoring off the bench tonight. What's it like having that kind of firepower from the reserves? Uh, it's great. You know, when you're playing in the playoffs, you need a bench. Because every night isn't going to be going for the starters. And, you know, those guys come in and do a great job on both ends of the floor. And if we come out the game with a lead, they'll push it up for us. As a champion, you would know. Thanks, Kawhi. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up from here, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA's Western Conference quarterfinals. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA.
as New Balance presents our player of the game,